Edge Farmer here. I figured I'd give you a guided tour of everything that's been happening going on. I've got a request for a guided tour about the barn itself, so I figured I'd just do everything. So here's my dump trailer. It's painted. I found one cull board. It means it's damaged. Um, the pump is hooked up. I just have to hook up the battery and then mount the box and then mount the pump to the box. It goes up with jumper cables and it comes back down. It goes down real slow, so I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Next step for this is uh, trailer lights, and I still have to fix that axle. It's probably be the last thing I do is fix that axle. And then moving on, we've got over here my truck with the flatbed trailer. I just dragged this out about 15 minutes ago because I made a trip down to Lowe's where I work and um, I got some more call boards these are all 2 by 10 by 12s I ended up getting eight of them they're about 50% off so I figured I'd buy them because they're all this one's twisted and then some of these are split all the way down some of them have split ends some of them are chewed up on the ends uh, I still have to take the tank out and then there's another tank under here so I got eight boards. I'm gonna need like 10 more. So total 16 boards. I'm gonna make a 24 foot trailer, not a 25. And then in the center here, I'm gonna put a four inch wide square tube right underneath it. And then I'll be able to put a plate on top of that and screw the plate down. And then I'll just individually bolt every on every single cross member. This just came in the mail today. This is for the dump trailer. I originally bought a 25 foot cord and then I realized I only need it up to the axles and then from the axles back I'm doing an individual. This is a, so it's eight foot and that's gonna get me to the axle on the dump trailer. And then I have the 25 foot I'm gonna save for this project here. Moving on, we take a walk up the hill. I've got the toolbox for my truck, toolbox for the flatbed trailer right there. Got my Vulcan welder out. I was welding up on the dump trailer there. I have my corn planter. I plant, uh, painted that up. I got an extra hood for my truck. I'm going to change the front clip on that eventually. But let's take a step back here and show you exactly what I've got going on in the barn. So there's the barn. It's almost completely done. Uh, as you can see, I have one kick out there, but I'm missing on this side because I plan on going from here over to about there make a four or five foot kick out where I can have these shelves and stuff under cover in the winter doors unlocked everything's stained on the outside uh, here's a look inside I put foam on the inside of the doors put cables on them to hold the doors from twisting uh, I got my cultivator in here and then uh, turn that radio off Got my plasma cutter here that normally sits right here on these boards, and then the welder sits right there. The gas sits right there. The torch head, but this is what I cut with that plasma cutter. It's a hundred eighty dollar plasma cutter. If you'd like to see a review on that plasma cutter, please let, let me know in the comment section below. That is a uh, cut fifty. I absolutely love it. I paid hundred eighty dollars for it. I wired that up for uh, uh, 220 single phase and that goes into this outlet which has 6 gauge going all the way to the box. I have a 2 fold breaker, 30 amp right there. Built myself a little shelf. Uh, these two pockets are going to stay open to hang stuff on and then these two pockets I'm going to close and put rags in there. So it's a shelf for paint, the radio, uh, brake fluid goes there. This is for the chainsaw, more paint, and then they have a cooler in the back. So I, I purposefully put this wall up. You can probably see in my one of my later, earlier videos, I put a wall up with all these pallet boards. I purposefully let this uh, exposed right there. You can see the orange paint. That's where I have wires. And I did not want to nail nick a wire with a nail gun. Could it see behind the boards or whatnot or behind the insulation? So I'm just going to put cardboard in there. 
and I'm going to take boards like these and then just half of it's going to hold this together so you're not going to see that from here over. Uh, taking a look around, I got my tool bench, refrigerator, microwave. Uh, this side has not been insulated yet. Um, this side is half insulated, no vapor barrier yet. And then for the ceilings, I did uh, 2 by 6 by 12s for the 12 foot wide ceilings. I, if you're going 12 foot span on 16 inch center like this, I recommend getting 8, eight inch boards, not 6 inch. We got three uh, four foot fluorescent lights in here. Uh, this is just temporary. I took pallet board and stuffed it in there, and that, those are my temporary work shelves. Uh, that's a wire outlet for my battery charger. But you can see, so I have one whole pallet right, I don't know, maybe this one will be easier to see. But I have a whole pallet right here. This is one pallet. Going across there, going back up. That's one whole pallet. And then in the center, I took just another pallet, cut it down, and uh, screw these two together to hold the pa top pallet to the bottom pallet. And then when I got two individual pallets going side by side, I got a really big beefy center right there, and then it goes up to two right there. And they're on 24 inch centers. I got my air compressor sitting underneath my ladder, and let's take a look upstairs. So the upstairs is completely insulated. Uh, half of it has a vapor barrier. And then just a little bit of it has what I plan to do for the whole thing. Um, I've got some seats for my truck sitting in here. Nice chill chill spot. I got a little corner for tires. And then I line up in uh, recycling bins right there with um, parts and stuff in there. And I label the parts. Underneath that garbage bag of uh, cans and bottles, I have tarps. That's my tarps. And then I have plumbing, uh, Cub Cadet and Chevy parts, oils, and then this one's empty. And table saw is stored up here. And then I have my uh, loft door with a little hoist up there to get things up here. I'm going to take a look over here. This is almost done, half done with foam. And got my air conditioner sitting in the wall. But other than that, that is about it. Thanks for uh, following me on this tour. Uh, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And if you'd like a review on either that um, plasma cutter or the welder, please let me know in the comment section below. Catch you later.